Hi, I'm so glad you're here. I promised you a few weeks ago that I would give you my advice about flirting with a special lady, and now that day has arrived. Let's talk about flirting. You see her across the crowded room and suddenly you're mesmerized. You can't look away. She is the most enchanting woman you've ever seen and you simply must get to know her. How do you know when a woman is receptive to your approach and open to conversation with you? Women use consistent body language to signal men who interest them. So look for these nonverbal behaviors that women use to signal their interest in a man. Number one, rhythmic movement in time with the music. Number two, checking the room without making eye contact with anyone. Number three, a quick side glance. Number four, eye contact for more than three seconds. Number five, she lifts her face up briefly. Number six, hair flip or tossle. Number seven, smile. Number eight, self-grooming. And number nine, head tilt. Once you've approached and started a conversation, you'll continue to see these behaviors along with number 10, leaning closer. Number 11, laughing or giggling responses during conversation. Number 12, head nodding in agreement. And number 13, body orientation, where she shifts her body to face you directly. And 14, touching. A woman touches in a number of ways to show interest, such as caressing an object, or your arm, hand, or face. Or the woman might initiate a hug or press against you. As I mentioned in my video, The Power of Touch, platonic touching is very attractive and persuasive. Even accidental touching can lead to intimacy. So if a woman is looking around and flipping her hair, pay attention. If she makes eye contact and smiles at you, approach her and start a conversation. If she likes what you have to say and touches you, then ask for her number or for a date. Once you know to look for these behaviors, you can see them all the time. A man who's noticed a woman and hopes to spark her attraction should take the risk of introducing himself and ask some friendly, open-ended questions. Be sure to look into her eyes as she talks, giving her your full attention, and offer polite compliments. Once you've got the conversation started, allow the woman to lead in touching and suggested behavior while you continue to give her your well-mannered, receptive attention. When a man does something to make a woman feel special, in her eyes, he becomes more attractive. When a man initiates this first conversation, without being dependent on getting anything else other than the pleasure of getting to know her, this makes him even more attractive. A woman can sense if a man's ability to feel good about himself is dependent on her responses to his advances. If she has to worry about his reactions or be sensitive not to hurt his feelings, then he becomes less attractive. We're all familiar with the power of first impressions and how hard they are to change. One of the most alluring traits you can display on a first meeting is emotional responsiveness. I've introduced you to the Venus Talk and the Attune Method for conversation in past videos. Be sure to review and practice those concepts because you'll begin to use these methods from the very beginning during that first conversation. Knowing these signals and responding to them is important, but how do you catch the eye of a particular lady who may not have seen you standing in the crowd? The right body language can help you get noticed by a potential date, even when someone makes a split-second decision about you. The poses that get you noticed quickly and spark romantic attraction include open, confident body language. Pull your shoulders back, stand tall, lift your chin, smile, and as my great Aunt Kay used to say, act like somebody. 
Don't cross your arms or legs, which may indicate nervousness or disinterest, and keep your hands out of your pockets. These postures should be used when it's appropriate to flirt with single people in social environments where romantic approaches are customary, for example at venues and events where alcohol is served. However, there are other circumstances where flirting is not appropriate and should not be initiated. Women are at greater risk for sexual assault and become vigilant about sexual threats or creeps, especially when romantic approaches are unexpected or out of place. For instance, flirting at work is never appropriate if you are in a position of power over your coworker, and it is unprofessional to flirt with any coworker during work hours. Situations when women are trying to go about their daily business, such as at the gym, laundromat, grocery store, or using public transportation, are not suitable times to flirt, and women will likely shut you down, become annoyed, or run away in fear. Consequently, a man seeking a new romance always faces a balancing act of expressing interest in a woman while not crossing the creep line. That's why it's important to be aware that women have an array of nonverbal shutdown behaviors that are the opposite of their flirting signals. They may lean away, cross their arms over their chest, or move their purse between you and them, or hold it tightly on their laps. They'll avoid eye contact and engage in negative grooming behaviors such as picking teeth or chewing fingernails. And if you see these behaviors, it's time to politely disengage and look elsewhere. Too great an age difference in a romantic approach can also make the man seem creepy. Online dating has created a rule that the zone of non-creepiness for a relationship would be half your age plus seven. Most of the men I know would never date a woman in the same age range as their daughter. These May-December romances rarely work out, and it's usually upsetting for family and friends of both the man and the girl. A man approaching a woman needs to make sure that she feels safe and protected while trying to charm her. Do your best to display confidence and integrity, as I've talked about in past videos. Beware of being too aggressive and persistent in trying to contact women after you meet them. If you send a text or call her, have a specific purpose for reaching out and wait for a response to gauge her interest. Give a woman that you approach her personal space and keep your touches platonic and non-threatening, only touching her hand or arm when you first meet. Be polite and complimentary, and to be safe, don't talk about sex unless she brings it up first. Once you've established a relationship, keep up the flirting with your partner. Flirting is fun. It creates bonding, emotional support, and sexual anticipation, and it should be a regular part of any romantic relationship. Now that we've covered flirting signals, let's role play and see how many you recognize. Imagine you've come to Joe's bar and have a drink with your buddy. While you're waiting for him to arrive, you see me across the room. Start counting the flirting signals and decide when you would approach me and what you would say. If you haven't decided to approach me by now, then I would assume that you're unavailable and move on to somebody else. If you do approach me, tell me your name and give me a sincere compliment on something not too personal, and then follow with an open-ended question, like this. Hi, my name is... That's a beautiful wristwatch you're wearing. What brings you to Joe's bar this evening? Just keep it simple, listen closely, and keep asking friendly, open-ended questions based on my answers. Since we're in a bar, you can offer to buy me a drink or some food if my drink is still more than half full. When your friend arrives to have that drink with you, it would be appropriate to ask if you'll see me here again or if you can call or text me. That would prompt me to make a tentative date or give you my phone number if I want to see you again. Flirting is about fun, quick connections, and enjoying ourselves. 
it's sticking your toe in the water to see if it's warm or cold. Enjoy each encounter, whether it's with a stranger or your wife of 30 years. Practice your flirting this week and share your story with me in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to give me a virtual smile and a wink, please visit my Patreon page and consider pledging a small amount each month to join our community, receive bonus perks, and support my work. And please take a moment now and subscribe. I'll be uploading at least one video each week with occasional bonus videos. Thanks for meeting with me. We'll talk again soon. Joe, can we freshen this up? The softer side.